Hey everyone, it's Laura here from Laura's Creative Pages and Cards and I am going to show you how to make this super fun, super sweet Z Vault card today. It really doesn't take a lot and um, anyone can definitely do this with the minimal of uh, products. So let me show you how to create this uh, just using a standard card from close to my heart. So it is super, super easy and I love that they fold flat and can be posted. So starting with one of our cards from our card and envelope pack, uh, all we need to do is take the front cover and fold it to the left, meeting at the edge, and then just give it a good score. So if you've got a boning tool, that's great. If not, just use your nails, just bend it over and give it a good crease. So there we go, and that's the fold that um, is fancy. Then we're going to need some decorative paper. This is from the Sweet Safari and I just love it. And what we need is we need uh, one piece cut at five and three eighths by four and eighths and then two pieces that are cut at five and three eighths by two. And then they're gonna get just stuck onto the card. So I've opened it right up and I'm going to stick each of these pieces in the center of, um, you know, where the score lines and stuff. So there's gonna be a little white border all the way around. So again, the Paper is from the Sweet Safari. I love this red dotty paper. It's just so vibrant and fun. And um, so I'm just fitting each one of these pieces onto those little quadrants. And then that will just fold back in where the score lines are perfectly. Right, then the next piece we're gonna need is a piece of white cardstock. And this is cut at four inches by six and three eighths. And it is going to be scored. So I'm just going to grab my scoreboard, but of course, if you don't have a scoreboard, you could just measure it at the dimensions or um, you might have a trim with score. So I'm going to score it at two and one eighths from each end. So I'm actually going to flip it over. So my score, the way I score it is opposite. So two and one eighths from each end, or if you're measuring along, it's two and one eighth and then four and a quarter. Then I'm just going to um, crease it on each of those score marks. So when I bend it, I actually bend it over the hill, over the lump. I don't bend it into the valley. And it's just the way that it um, breaks the fibers when it's scored and it just, it just folds nicer. So that's the little Z fold. So that's going to fit into the card like so. So one of the, the thirds gets stuck to the inside and one of the thirds gets stuck to the top side. So what I'm doing is just centralizing it on the card. I'm just making sure that I've got an even gap all the way around. So the top and bottom, it's even, and then the side to side is even. Once I'm satisfied that I have it in the center, I'm just going to hold the piece down there with my left hand. And then on the right hand side, I'm just going to run some tape just along the edge because it is only the edge that's going to get stuck to the front of the card. So don't go and stick it all over because it's, as you can see, it's only getting stuck on the edge. And I'm just using my boning tool just to really make sure I've pressed down that adhesive firmly. Now I'm opening it up and I'm actually going to put tape over this whole rectangle piece here because this whole piece here is going to get stuck on this inside part of the card. Okay, so just folding that back over and just again making sure it's pressed down firmly. And there we go, that is the card completely made. Isn't that easy? So easy. Okay, and then all I did for my cards, and obviously it's purely optional, is use this piece of white daisy cardstock, which is cut at one and seven eighths by three and three quarters. And that's what I did all the stamping and embellishing on. Okay, so you can see here that that's the piece that's been added to the center of the card and then that's where I can write my sentiment, my wishes to somebody, okay? That is how easy this card is, super fun, a little bit different, a little bit quirky and um, really showcases off any of that beautiful decorative paper you've got hoarding and really easy to do. So I just wanna thank you so much for taking the time to pop in and watch this video tutorial and I really hope you enjoy creating your own Z Fold card with these instructions. Thanks so much. Bye now.